Okay, g'day, it's Terry here from Picture Perfect Products. Going to run through how to use your new Galaxy Mug Pro version 2. This is the latest Mug Pro set we're offering now. Looks very much similar to like the version 1, but this has just got a different settings on it. Okay, it's only got one heat setting. Okay, here we go. So with your mug press, when you've opened it up, this is how you would have found it, with a blank mug already in the mug, right? Sarah Jane's just going to take that out at the moment. So that's how. So we're going to take that out just for the minute. You've also got this mug already pre-made here at Picture Perfect Products and a print that's in this little folder which is exactly the same print that was used on the mug. And we've also supplied you a blank mug as well. And in here now is a blank mug. So what we're going to do in a few minutes is we're going to wrap that print around this mug and we're going to cook it. So when you take that mug out, it should pretty much be exactly the same as there. So it'll show you and give you confidence that the mug press is fantastic and working okay. All right. Firstly, we're going to turn the mug press on at the back. And after a few seconds, it will come to this screen. There you go. The top readout is the current temperature. And as you can see, it's rapidly rising up. And down underneath it is the settings, the, the time setting, which is three and a half minutes. They're variable. We've predetermined that it should be 190 degrees for three and a half minutes. But you can adjust that slightly up and down depending on how much you, if you're doing fine type, fine work, you might cut the time down to about three minutes. Or you might cut the temperature down to 185 or 180, but I recommend 190 for three and a half minutes. And also, if it's a bit underdone and you feel you need more time, just bring your time up. Okay, so how to set it is we first touch the set button. And there it is. It's flashing temperature. With the up and down arrow, you can change it to whatever temperature you want, right? See? Now we're going to hit the set button again. And this time the time's flashing, right? So now we go down, up and down to the time, right? Hit it again and it's in the heating mode. See how it's heating up, right? Now, Sarah Jane's gonna put the blank mug in, line it up and close the mug press. And the mug press now is going to drop down in temperature because it's reading this cold mug. Now I'm suggesting that you put the a blank mug in each time you do a a mug to warm it all up. Now it doesn't really need to go through a full cycle, at least until it's gone through, you know, for a couple of minutes at least to warm it up. But look, while you're learning, leave it in for three and a half minutes. And then when the time's up, we're going to put the second mug in. Now Sarah Jane's now going to prepare this mug while the press is cooking or counting down. Okay, here we go. So what we're doing now, as in the previous video, we're just going to Turn the paper over, put a piece of tape on it like so, grab your mug, wrap it around, square it all up, tape it down nice and tight, and we're good to go, right? So I'm going to come back in about two minutes when it gets up to temperature, well, I mean, beg your pardon, when it counts down for the three and a half minutes, back shortly. Okay, here we go, very close to it now, see, it's... 190 to 191, 190, it's just sitting there beautifully. Four seconds, three seconds, two. This is the blank mug that we've just cooked. We're going to take that out and just put it to the left of the machine, leave that there, grab the mug with the paper wrapped around it, slide it in. Oops, it's just come off. That can happen. There we go. Just slide it back on. See, even for the best, it still happens. There we go, line it up, and in it goes. Now that's starting to cook. And you see the temperature dropping down? Don't worry about that. And the time's starting, see, down to 200 seconds now. The temperature's going to keep dropping down. And then when it gets to a certain point, it'll start to heat up. And once again, we'll go through a cycle. Now what I'm suggesting, as in my other video, look, cook with the blank mug if you're doing one mug, so you're actually doing two mugs. But if you're doing 10 mugs, yet yeah, start off with the blank mug and then just constantly put the next mug in uh, one after the other until you've done your dozen or your 30 and uh, it'll be beautiful. Okay, so we're going to be back very shortly. Okay, we're back for the final bit. Now just it says it's counting down now, and this is the mug with the paper on. The number down the bottom, that number four, that's actually the number of mugs that you do. Every time you open and close it and cook, 
it'll go up one. So we're just going to tape that out. We're going to lay it, oh, that, lay it on the table, take the paper off. It's very hot. The handle's not hot, but the paper is. So Sir James is just going to turn it around and bring it over to here. And as you can see, side by side, there's the one that we did, and there's the one, the new one. Okay, look how beautiful that is. All right. Oh, by the way, before I go, another thing. In the first video, you actually saw me dunking it in some water, putting it in water. Uh, that cools the sublimation right down. Look, you don't have to. Uh, if you're in a hurry, you don't need to do that. Uh, but I suggest it's a wise thing because it stops the sublimation from... Uh, blurring a little bit. Okay, now here we go. Look, we're finished. We've got the blank mug going in. Close it up. Turn the press off. And guess what? You're now back waiting for your next mug. So when you come to do your next mug, you've just got to turn it on at the back, let it go through a cycle. And you won't lose your blank mug because it's always in the mug press. There you go. Off you go. And congratulations on buying a mug press from Picture Perfect Products and enjoy using it. Bye now.